Hi everyone, so in the last part of the video you'll have seen me make the design with the Romeo and the knockdown stitch behind it which is what I've printed out and that's what you can see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut around the edge of this design and I'm going to use this paper design to line up on my baby blanket which I'm then going to stitch out. To save a little bit of time I've already put a bobbin thread in my machine and I've already put some white thread which is what I'm going to use for the knockdown stitch and then I'm using my 12 by 8 hoop and this is a piece of Solvi fabric wash away which is what I was recommended to use. Now if you follow me on Instagram you'll see that I did a towel as a, as a test run with a knockdown stitch and the word Eddie on um, it was a, a pet towel for my for my puppy just to test out the design really and on that one I used because of the knockdown stitch being quite dense I used two layers of tear away on the back and then on the top of the design I used a wash away like thin film stabiliser which I'll show you in a minute but I asked in one of the groups that I'm a member of and it was suggested that I use a Solvi fabric wash away on the baby blanket. Now I only had a sample piece I think it was about a half a metre and obviously I don't want to put a half a metre in here so what I've done and if I chop it down the middle it's not quite wide enough to fit the width of my hoop so I'm putting it in this way and I've just double folded it back so I've kind of got a double layer here because this is where I'm going to stitch the name anyway. It should fit within this area, okay? Um, obviously, if you've got bigger pieces, then fill your whole hoop if you want, but I think this will work. It seems fairly tight, so I'm hoping it will be fine. So as I say, this is what I'm going to use. So I'm just going to cut this out with scissors and I'm going to float my baby blanket on the top here of the hoop and I'll show you that in a few minutes. So I'm just going to cut this out and I'm cutting directly as close as I can get to that outline because this obviously is going to be the size of the design and it'll help me for positioning it on the baby blanket. So if you've not seen how I created this design I'll try and put a card, an information card at the end of this video linking to how I made this and then you can see how this was made. So this is my baby blanket with the nice plush pile and it's basically just a big rectangle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold it in half on the short side and just give it a bit of a crease in the hope that that will give me a centre line for when I want to put this in the hoop. My hoop goes into the machine with this fixture on the left. So I'm going to open up the baby blanket and I can see that line. So I'm just going to turn it round so that all the excess fabric is going to be coming off the left of the arm of my machine. And then I'm just going to on my hoop, I've got my centre line, so I'm going to line that centre fold I've just made with the centre line here of my hoop. And I want to see roughly where I'm going to put the name. So the name's going to go on this way. So this is my centre line. So I'm just going to pin that in place just for a minute. And I'm just pinning the paper pattern into the blanket. I'm not pinning it on the hoop. Hoop just happens to be there at the moment. So that's hopefully how it's going to look. But that doesn't look straight. So I'm going to level it up a bit. So that's my centre line. I'm going to use a tiny little bit of 505 temporary adhesive. And I'm going to open the blanket out and stick this half down. So I'm basically trying to get one half in position. Then I'm going to fold this half back.
apply some adhesive here and then open the blanket out. Okay, so I think that looks as though it's right. Now you can pin this to the blanket to the hoop if you want to. If you're worried, you know, about the blanket moving, you can put some pins in. Just make sure they don't go anywhere near where you're going to stitch. So you could put some around here. But I think I'm going to leave it as it is. So then I'm going to put this hoop now into my machine. Lock the hoop into place. And then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to call up the design which I've got on a USB stick. So I'm just going to pop this into the side of my machine. I'm going to go to embroidery, USB stick find the design and it's set on the screen but it needs rotating so I'm going to say embroidery and then I'm going to flip it so I need to come to the bottom where it says rotate and I'm going to flip it 90 and then 90 to the left because this is how I've got my hoop set up in my machine and if you watch part one as I said the design was centered to the size of my 12 by 8 hoop but the printout that I've got on my blanket isn't centered to the hoop so what I'm going to do now I'm going to use the directional arrows to bring the needle to the center of this paper design so I'm going to be using these arrows here and I'm going to turn you around And hopefully you'll be able to see there's a crosshair in the middle that Embrilliance Essentials put into the design. So by using these directional arrows on my machine, I can now bring this needle along and get it as close to centre as I can. And that looks pretty much spot on. So that means now that the design will stitch here where I want it to. So I'm going to take the pins out and remove my paper pattern. I know this is where the design is now. I'm going to get my piece of wash away stabilizer. And I cut this earlier based on the size of the printout. So if I slide this under and put the centre, if I fold it in half to give me a centre point and then slide this under and put that centre line under the needle, it should be in the right position. I don't know whether I actually need this because I'm doing a, a knockdown, but on the towel that I did and the blanket I did for Eddie, I used this under the knockdown. So I'm gonna just stick with what I've done previously. So basically all I need to do now is put the foot down on the machine and set this to start stitching. thing I forgot to say is that this stitch out is 38 minutes in total so I'll set it off and then I'll speed it up to go through the knockdown stitch and then I'll come back and show you the knockdown stitch and then I'll do the thread change for the colour that I'm going to use for the name.
Okay, so that's finished the knock down stitch and I'm not sure how well you can see it, but because I merged the two designs in Embrilliance Essentials, it's done the knock down stitch very dense around all the letters, but where the letters are actually going to be stitched in the different color, it's made them a little bit lighter. So it's still knocking down the pile, but it's not as dense so that when the second colour goes over the top, it won't be going through lots and lots of stitches. So I'm just going to swap out the colour now to blue, which is the colour I'm going to use for the name. And then I'll stitch that out. I'll let it start stitching. And then again, I'll fast forward. I think I said it's a 38 minute stitch out and it's a 17 and a half thousand stitches. Now I've not got my machine set to like it's full speed. Um, you know, you could probably do it quicker if you up to the speed, but I'd rather just, you know, take it a little bit slower and get it done properly. So I'm just going to cut the thread here and then pull it through from the needle. So that gets rid of the white, take this off and put in my pale blue. I'm going to press the needle threader on my machine foot down and then press go and this has got the remaining what 9,000 stitches or so to do so Okay, so that's finished. So I'm just going to take the hoop out of the machine, just give myself a little bit more space and then I'll show you in a close up how it's looking. Okay, so this is how it's looking. So I'm going to take it out of the hoop. I'm going to pull away this water soluble topper and I'm just going to turn it over and cut this away. couple of threads on the back to tidy up. I actually use my small scissors for this. Just cut those few threads. I 
and because I use that water solvy backing when this is washed that will wash away but to be fair um, you know with all the stitches there anyway you can hardly see it there's just a little bit around the edge but I don't want to cut too close to the fleece so I hope you can see how lovely that looks and the knockdown stitch worked lovely for the blue stitching to go over the top so I think that's turned out really nice so please give the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so and I'll see you in the next video thank you